I remember very clearly that she was speaking to me on that week, the week before everything happened. We realized that she had something because she was telling like constantly, I don't feel good, I feel headache all the time, I feel nauseous. The surgeon just put the, the implant in and the implant just get infected two days later. They have to remove the implant again. La caca que habíamos puesto previamente, a pesar de que la tratamos de hacer muy estética, quedó con un cráneo muy deformado, se veía muy mal. So after the first implant didn't work that well, we started looking through different options. And my oldest sister, Gabriela, she was really into everything. So she started looking and giving the doctor different choices. And we started watching videos about how they, they were making it. It looked so precise, looked so good. So we just decided to trust again. Granta is trying to change people's lives, to improve people's lives. That's what we're trying to do. And we're starting by creating these skull implants, these patient-specific implants, to fix and reconstruct the skull of, of the patient that has been suffering, suffering from a head trauma, neurovascular accident, from a tumor, from being born with a deformation. We're trying to help them. Her implant was very, very, very tough because it's not a small implant. It's pretty much half of the skull. So that was challenging. It's the easiest to design, probably most difficult to fabricate because it's, it's a very organic and complex shape. We received the CT scan from the patient. From there, we propose a design that may help to fix the problem. And then we 3D print a model of the skull and the implant that we're proposing, gather together with the doctor and talk about if it's the best solution. We manufacture it in a five axis CNC machine we manufacture the final implant in the biocompatible material that then is shipped to the hospital to be sterilized. We use a material that is completely biocompatible, that is called PIC, polyether acetone, and it's a material that is, has many properties. One of them is that the body will not attack the material and it will not produce an infection. We're struggling with the timing because she needs with urgency. We put it everything in for her implant. We went along every day, received a phone call from the mom or the husband saying, Adriana is worse every day, Adriana is coming down, Adriana is getting depressed. Please hurry, please do it as fast as you can. We don't want to push you, but please do it. And then it came the day of surgery and, and Carlos and I was there in the surgery room and suddenly we, we find out that this was real. One of the nurses actually said that it was going to take a very long time to do it, that they have tried before and it didn't work and it was going to take a long time. I bet her that it will fit up perfectly. When they took out the implant from the sterilized bag and they put it on the skull and we all saw that it fit perfectly, everybody were so happy and say like, great, it worked, it's fantastic. Afterwards, when I came back and I saw her, I, her tone of voice was great. She had a little shake in her hand, but it was way better than when I left. And it was a huge difference just to see her loosen, remembering what day is it, like a lot of things, you know, like joking, even joking, or having friends over. Si el caso de Adriana fue la primera vez que se usó este tipo de implantes, nos ayudó mucho a tener un implante muy estético porque ella tenía un defecto muy grande. Since everything happened, the doctor told us it was going to be a really long and slow recovery, but she has a lot of different therapies right now. Every day she does something different, and it's great to see her, like, push her to the limits. The main thing that it is a software-related innovation is going from the CT scan, from something that is a series of x-rays, a series of images, creating a, a 3D model. That has been improving in the last, I'm not going to say five, or probably ten years, that has allowed this to happen. Taking that information from a CT scan and creating a, a solid 3D model. That is the innovation. I went the next day to meet her and she received me with a huge smile and say, thank you for what you have done for me, you have changed my life. And in reality, it's the other way around. In the way she changed my life is something that I will always be grateful for. After Adriana, we have designed already something like 10 other cases. 
out of those four are already in place. All my life I've been doing design and engineering for uh, commercial, let's say, products from automotive, or from product design, and yes, you could, you could feel that you have an impact in the world and you're doing or designing stuff that people are using, but when you start to design something that it's so critical for a human being, I mean, a, a part that he or she relies on to live, it, it, it has a completely different level. So uh, I was so excited to, to be in part of that. And actually, when we uh, get our first implant in a person, at the end, she, she's telling you just thank you. That's amazing. That, that's a life changer. The greatest reward of what I do is seeing the people after the surgery and seeing that they're OK. Being able to call them two, three, four months down the line and seeing that they are happy that they went for a meal together as a family. That is the best thing, the best feeling ever. Se siente padrísimo. Estoy muy agradecida con Dios y con la vida de estar viva. De los doctores, de Granta, la placa que ellos me hicieron favor de hacerme.